William III was born in The Hague, Netherlands, in 1650 as William Henry of Orange. He was known widely as William of Orange. He was the only son of William II, Prince of Orange, and Mary, Princess Royal. As a child, William was shown little interest by his mother, sometimes being absent for years, however, he had a good education in politics, history, and military strategy. William's mother was the daughter of King Charles I of England, and this familial connection would later play a significant role in William's life. William's father died before he was born, and as a result, William was raised by his mother and a group of advisers known as the True Friends. In 1672, William was appointed as Stadtholder of the Dutch Republic, a position he held until his death in 1702. As Stadtholder, William was responsible for leading the Dutch military and overseeing the country's foreign affairs. He was also heavily involved in the politics of the Dutch Republic, working to strengthen its government and maintain its independence from other European powers. In 1677, William married his cousin Mary, the eldest daughter of King James II of England. The marriage was arranged in part to strengthen the political ties between the Dutch Republic and England. They did not produce children, and William had only one reputed mistress during his marriage in contrast to the many his uncles openly had. There were later rumors that William was homosexual, although this was probably just gossip from his enemies. In 1688, William led the Glorious Revolution, a bloodless coup d'etat that overthrew King James II and brought William and Mary to the throne of England. William's invasion of England was prompted by concerns over James II's pro-Catholic policies and his attempts to increase his own power at the expense of Parliament. William's reign as King of England, Scotland, and Ireland lasted from 1689 until his death in 1702. During this time, William worked to strengthen the power of Parliament and the Protestant Church of England. He also oversaw several important military campaigns, including the Nine Years' War against France and the War of the Spanish Succession. The Nine Years' War, which lasted from 1688 to 1697, was fought between France and a coalition of European powers led by William III. The war was sparked by French expansionism and territorial ambitions, and it ended with the signing of the Treaty of Ryswick. During the war William spent lots of time away in Europe and his wife Mary was in sole charge of the kingdom until his return. In 1690, William won a decisive victory over the forces of James II at the Battle of the Boyne in Ireland. The battle is still celebrated by the Orange Order, a Protestant fraternal organization that was founded in the aftermath of the Glorious Revolution. There were further battles with the Scottish Jacobites who supported James's Catholic rule, culminating in the Glencoe Massacre where the Scottish clans were punished for not signing their allegiance to King William. In 1692, William's navy defeated a French fleet at the Battle of La Hogue, securing England's control of the seas. The battle was a significant victory for William, as it prevented a French invasion of England and bolstered his reputation as a military leader. Queen Mary II died in 1694, aged just 32, of smallpox, leaving William to rule alone. William deeply mourned his wife's death. His popularity in England declined during his reign as a sole monarch. In 1695, William signed the Triennial Act, which required parliamentary elections to be held every three years. The act was an important step towards increasing the power of Parliament and ensuring that the monarchy was accountable to the people. In 1701, William signed the Act of Settlement, which established the Protestant succession to the English throne and excluded Catholics from the line of succession. The act was designed to prevent another Catholic monarch from taking the throne and to ensure that the monarchy remained firmly under Protestant control. William died of pneumonia, a complication from a broken collarbone sustained after a fall from his horse. He was aged 52. William's reign saw the establishment of the Bank of England and the growth of the East India Company. These institutions helped to establish England as a major economic power and laid the groundwork for the country's eventual dominance of global trade. William's support for religious toleration was evident in the passage of the Toleration Act of 1689, which granted freedom of worship to non-conformist Protestants who refused to adhere to the Church of England. This was a significant step towards greater religious freedom in England, although it did not extend to Catholics or Jews. Despite his support for religious toleration, William faced opposition from conservative elements within the Church of England who feared that his policies would weaken the Anglican Church. These tensions came to a head with the passing of the Occasional Conformity Act of 1711, which attempted to restrict the rights of non-conformists to hold public office. The late 17th century was a period of great literary, artistic and scientific innovation in England, and William himself was a patron of the arts. 
Some of the most notable figures of the time included John Dryden, Aphra Ben, and Isaac Newton. William's reign was also marked by the growth of the British Empire. England's global influence expanded rapidly during this period, with the acquisition of colonies in North America, Africa, and the Caribbean. William's foreign policy was largely focused on containing the expansion of France, which was seen as a major threat to European stability. William's reign was marked by a number of major architectural and urban planning projects, many of which continue to shape the look of modern London. Despite his many accomplishments, William's reign was not without controversy. His policies towards Ireland, in particular, have been criticised as heavy-handed and insensitive. In the aftermath of the Battle of the Boyne, William's forces engaged in a campaign of violence and repression against Irish Catholics that led to widespread suffering and displacement. William's legacy as King of England, Scotland, and Ireland is complex and multifaceted. While he is remembered as a skilled military leader and a champion of religious toleration and parliamentary government, his reign was also marked by significant social and political upheaval, as well as a legacy of colonialism and oppression that continues to be felt to this day. Nevertheless, his impact on British history and culture cannot be denied, and his legacy continues to be debated and explored by scholars and historians.